guys good morning it is me so i am currently working i'm about to log in um so i thought we were going to go back to school and they had a meeting and they changed it so we are not going back until further notice so yeah i guess the um corona rates are too high and they're gonna postpone us going back which is completely understandable but um yeah i don't have like anything in my apartment like teacher related school related i took everything back to the classroom so i'm gonna have to go back and get like my bulletin board and things like that um this week so yeah so in my last vlog um i did i was in my classroom and i was trying to put it together um but yeah we're not going back so we will be teaching from home um until they tell us when we're going back which who knows like we don't know when we're gonna go back nobody knows all right so hey you guys i'm just on the couch i have a little break and i'm eating my um this is like my breakfast i started eating <laughs> oh my gosh okay hold on one second <laughs> okay i'm back that is just like one of the many clumsy things i do throughout the day all right so let me try this again um i'm eating like my breakfast it's a salad with salmon in it and I made my own salad dressing. And I've been starting to eat salads for breakfast because I really love green vegetables and I feel like that's something really good to put inside my body first thing in the morning. Um, like a green vegetable and some protein because I'm not like the traditional breakfast eater. Like the only breakfast foods I really like are like eggs and um, I like shrimp and grits, but y'all I gotta lose weight. I need to lose like honestly like 10 pounds 10 to 15 because i just feel so like oh like i just been way off for months so i'm getting back into my healthy eating i've always worked out it's just my eating like it's not bad but it's different than what i've been doing so like I've been eating a lot of heavy foods like juicy crab, like savory foods. I don't eat fast foods. So all this stuff is stuff that I cooked um, or my boyfriend cooked. But it's just like I'm at the point now. It's like January. My birthday is in March. Spring is coming. I need to get it back together. Okay. So I'm trying to do that. So I had salmon that I ate for dinner yesterday. And I just used half of the other piece to put into here and then um for lunch i'm going to have um ground turkey and some rice i'm only eating rice and sweet potatoes for lunch because i don't want any carbs for dinner so i'm gonna start with that y'all i'm watching the news and this fbi warning thing is crazy like because of the armed um the armed protests that are supposed to be going on which is crazy like this world is just crazy now okay but yeah so i'm just going to enjoy this and this is the power greens salad i think i posted in my other video from Kroger. it's the best y'all like my mom makes the best salads but she like makes them from scratch like it's every type of lettuce and vegetable and does all that this right here it has a bunch of different types of greens in it i'll show it to you guys once i get up but it is bomb like i love this and then my salad dressing is just um olive oil a lemon um and some agave and garlic powder onion powder um like italian seasoning salt and pepper and turmeric i put turmeric in it so yeah i don't know who is calling me i don't know this number arizona ar is Air no arkansas arkansas i'm not going to answer because i do not know that number and i don't know anybody from arkansas arkansas so yeah i'm going to finish eating and then get back to teaching my little kids and yeah 
and also I realized I probably have food in my mouth and my teeth from the salad so please don't judge me okay I just went back and like looked at the clip of when I spilled my food but I did see yeah there's green in my teeth but it's okay it happens to everybody okay just eating good over here but I'm here again about to go back to the gym I got my gym clothes on okay so I'm about to get some shoes real quick I don't know why I sound out of breath but anyway I recorded a video before that's why I have a full face of makeup on before I'm about to go work out but I did a hair video and um I just don't like I I don't like wasting products so I don't care if I sweat my makeup off but whatever um yeah I just been very um I keep saying um I need to stop I have been feeling very sluggish and like low energy like I don't know how to explain it but I just been feeling like that and I, I mean it was like cloudy outside the past couple days and stuff so I don't know if it's from that and it's just like not making me depressed or anything but it kind of just makes me like a little sad let me prop you up I don't even want to say sad but where's my other shoe oh I'm gonna wear these shoes today by the way Ignore the mess in the back still because I still need to put these cables together. I have the thing. It's in this box over here. But I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to do it because I don't feel like doing it myself because I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, um, like I said, i just been feeling like a little, not really sad, like sluggish, just like really low energy, stuff like that. So... I don't know why I mean it's sunny outside now it, it looks very nice outside let me show y'all real quick it is like sunny sunny out here see but um yeah I think it's more so I think I'm feeling feeling like this because of my body I feel like I gained like a million pounds um and with me it's really hard for me like I'm really hard on myself if that makes sense because y'all know like I love to work out I have an athletic background I did gymnastics for nine years I cheered for six and then after that I've just been in the gym my dad used to be like a part-time trainer on the side he had me in the gym with him growing up like I would be doing pull-ups everything Ooh, my legs are hairy and um yeah so I'm just I just always been the type to like always work out like I'm really hard on myself like if I miss a workout day like I'll feel guilty about myself and I have to like realize you have to listen to your body and it's okay if you don't work out if you skip a day if you're tired and skip a day it's okay but it's just like me registering it in my brain it like is really hard because since age of five I've been active so and you know I'm 30 now I'll be 31 in two months but it's just like I have to pay more attention listen to my body and everything and then also um I haven't been working out as much just because I don't know if I told y'all in the other video, but I have TOS, which is thoracic outlet syndrome. Um, and basically in 2018, I was working out and I hurt myself. Um, I didn't hurt myself like on the spot. It was more like, like I don't, I don't, I, to this day, I don't know what happened, honestly. I just remember I was working out in the gym. I had the bar, I was doing, um, deadlift to clean clean deadlift no deadlift to press or something i don't know whatever but anyway i lifted it up over my head no 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 first i'm sorry i'm like all over the place first i 
went to the gym so i was at the gym one day and then i was doing squats and i was fine when i went home that day and then overnight i woke up in the middle of the night and i had a horrible muscle spasm in my back and it hurt so bad i was about to cry i was about to call my it was like three o'clock in the morning i was about to call my mom and dad and tell them to come get me they only live like 15 20 minutes away i was like freaking out and then it finally went away i was trying to like stretch it do everything but i was crying it hurt so bad so then the next day like a couple hours later you know, i woke up and i was fine like it was nothing so i went to the gym again and i was doing the little power clean thing y'all i was up at the top and i collapsed to the ground and i could not like move this part of my back so your your lat muscle like right here that's where it was hurting so after that i went to the doctor and they said that um oh you have a muscle strain you have muscle spasms so i was like okay so what do i do and they were just like just rest it don't work out and you know me in my head i'm like oh my god i can't work out so i did take time off i rested it um they told me to go get a massage i felt like the massage was even worse because y'all have to be careful if y'all have like injuries and stuff and y'all go get a massage by somebody who's not your physical therapist or whatever they don't know like what underlying conditions you have and stuff so sometimes it can make it worse so did that and it made, i felt like it made it a little bit worse so i wasn't working out for like a week or two and then it finally stopped and then i started working out again so for the past like three years it's been coming back and going coming back and going so last summer i know this is a really long story but listen so for the past summer i mean the past this past summer i um went to this um spine specialist place and i told them what was wrong with me and they sent me to the chiropractic side they had a chiropractor and they had a physical therapist i never been to a chiropractor my mom was always telling me don't go to them but i went to the chiropractor side and i was going like once a week and he was like oh we'll just take a couple times you know and you'll be fine and so like i literally have been going for like six months but not every week at that point because in the summer it got really really bad like it was a point where i was crying like it was so bad so um uh, finally in december last month i went there and i was like i really think i have something else and so i was googling stuff and i looked up thoracic outlet syndrome which is tos and i told physical therapist and he diagnosed me and said i have that so that's what i have so now i go to the physical therapist once a week for my um tos and um it's been getting much better so i'm able to like do upper body now i just feel like my upper body like my back area has been gotten so like fluffy and fat i can't stand it but anyway tos is when um you have a nerve like a damaged nerve or something so it was up here and it you know like the nerves connect to the other muscle muscle tissue around it but basically the nerve the pain was going down my arm and into my finger so my arm would feel like 70 percent numb all the time and i would have tingling in like these three fingers and my arm was like really cold and my hand was cold so they have to like massage that area out and get it's it's really technical but anyway it's gone from up here and it moved down they said that was good because it's healing and it's getting better and everything so yes so that's why i could not do upper body workouts and that's why i probably feel fluffy at the top at the end of the story so yeah <laughs> okay so i really need to go to the gym because let me get my phone because my friend is waiting for me oh it's 4 11. perfect and my friend my other friend just texted me the girl that was in dominique the video i was doing abs she just texted me and said that she was like you worked out yet i'm gonna tell her nope i'm going at 4 30. my friend is coming too so yeah so get to work out now and y'all i want to show y'all my shorts these are from navigation 
Oh, I showed y'all. No, did I show you these already? I think I showed y'all gym shorts. But these are navigation shorts, and y'all, I love them. They have this thing on the butt. Yeah. But they're so cute. But y'all, I found a dupe to these shorts. If y'all want me to do a whole video on like um, Gymshark and navigation dupes, please let me know because I have the dupes right here. I ordered them like a couple weeks ago. So these are the dupes I found them on Amazon because when I got these, I was like, oh my God, these are so cute. Um, and I saw these on Amazon and I love them. So they have the butt thing. So I got this color and this color. So I had these for like a couple weeks now and I want to get some more. And then I also have some more dupes. Um, like these are like the Gymshark dupes. I got these last year. These are like dupes to Gymshark. So yeah. <sighs> okay. So that was a long sit down. All right, so I'm about to head to the gym. And I'm gonna try to record some of my leg workouts and stuff because today is leg day and yes um please let me know if you guys also want me to do like more workout videos and stuff like that um i've been really trying to be more consistent on youtube and recording stuff excuse me but i don't know what y'all want to see so please let me know what y'all want to see besides teacher school stuff okay anything besides that um and besides hair videos, just let me know and I will deliver. Oh y'all, I did a last minute shoe switch. Bam. They're the same shoes, just different colors. I haven't really worn these that much, so I figured I will wear them. Okay, so now I'm really going. Bye. I know it's so weird. It does. What's going on? Hey, remember trying to like a little wider. That one's moving. The foot that's on the outside is always going. Uh -huh. make, make one motion. Don't come here, stop, and then go see. Come just go right into it. Don't go to there, and then go to it. Go straight out. Straight into the spot. And squeeze your core, too. of you guys yes. thanks for the motivation thank you <sighs> yay we did it joe we did it i'm at 839 yay oh hola poppy come here marco ven aquí por favor you guys say hey to Marco. Don't be trying to act all cool now, Marco. He always stays with he stays with the drip in the gym. He stays with the drip in the gym. Ice me out. Ice me out. 
going to Kroger real quick. Ooh, this lighting is good. Ooh, the lighting is amazing. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to Kroger so I can get some cotton, you know, cotton spinach. Bam. Meet me at the Kroger. I love Kroger. Yeah, I feel like I go to Kroger. <laughs> I, I go to I go to Kroger like every other day. No, legit. Literally, every other day. Legit. This lighting is so good the out here. Amazing. Who would have ever thought the it? Kroger parking lot in the in the bucket? <laughs> yes. Right. Good lighting here. Right. <laughs> Y'all, we forgot our mess. <laughs> we walked in there and <laughs> I felt like they were looking at us. Sure. Wait, we're walking out with the basket. <laughs> did you say how did you let you yeah. forget your I mess? Said, I could have thought you had yours on. I looked up. I said, Oh, we both. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that was a moment. That was Is my mask? <laughs> wow. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. Really? I like that. Okay, wait. Something's missing. <laughs> we both looked at each other. Like, ah! <laughs> and here we have our mask on. I need some spinach. I went to the other Kroger and they were all out of spinach. Hopefully, this Kroger has some spinach in here. Is it you? No. Get some codfish. Wow, there's no cod. Excuse me, do you guys have cod? Please say yes. Getting my codfish. Yay. This nice man over here is helping me. He got it from the back, so it's super fresh. Super fresh. Do you have the longer pieces? Oh yeah, perfect, thank you. This is conefish and it has zero fat, bunch of protein, and it's very lightweight, so it's great if you're trying to lose weight. He is getting the same thing. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. <laughs> Y'all, I found this. And uh, why is it there we go? I'm gonna try this out. It's garlic expression vinaigrette. Where are the looks pretty healthy? I love garlic. Which juices? And it has like whole garlic things in it. My camera's dying, but y'all, these are not really healthy juices over here. There's so much sugar in them. Look at this. 60. 60. It's not focusing. Anyway, it has 66 grams of sugar. Um, no, 66 grams of carbs, 54 grams of sugar, 310 calories. Like, y'all trying to lose some weight? Do not drink these. They're not good. Go ahead and juice. Make something else. This is not it. <sighs> All right, I gotta go because my camera's dying. I'll see y'all later. So hey you guys and welcome. I don't know why my eyes look like this underneath, but maybe it's the hat and whatever. I just threw this wig on. Y'all forgot I had it and it looked so pretty. I washed it yesterday. Um, I gotta fix like, y'all, I don't wanna show y'all. I gotta fix the front of it, but I'm just going to my parents and I'm going to go get some Nigerian food and i'm so excited because i have been like trying different um nigerian african dishes for the past couple weeks so like on tiktok everybody knows trying igusi soup and i saw it and i really like foods that have green in them i know it's it might sound weird but i love green vegetables so igusi does have like green and yellow vegetables in it or coloring in it whatever makes that color, whatever vegetable or food it is. But um, I asked my boyfriend if he had it and he said that he has had it. Um, and I was like, can you describe it? He couldn't describe it. Then I asked my other friend and they couldn't describe it. And my brother used to work at um, this, um, I think it's like a Nigerian Ghana um, restaurant called Ike's Bar and Grill. So he had a lot of stuff there, but he never had that. 
So I was kind of scared to get it. So I, the first thing I tried was, um, what did I try? I tried cassava leaf. Well, the first time I had that, um, Daryl's mom made it and it was so, so good. It wasn't like extra spicy or anything. I don't like too much spicy. This. So I had that and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it from this place. So I had it from there and it was so spicy, oh my gosh. And then the following week I had Eddie Kai Kong, which is like, I like that better than the cassava leaf, but I like Daryl's mom's cassava leaf better than the other cassava leaf because it wasn't as spicy. So I was gonna try to get a goosey, but I think I'm gonna try to get, it's an F.O. Rero, F.O. Rero. It's um, basically stewed spinach. And I'm gonna get it with goat meat and pounded yam, and hopefully I like it. So I'm gonna get that. And I really want some oxtail, like, <laughs> so I might get oxtail too, like just a side of oxtail. Yeah, I'm just really hungry. So I'm about to go over there since I'm gonna be in that area anyway, because my parents live in that area. So I gotta take this hoodie to my mom so she can fix it. The string came out of the loop part and she sews and does all that. So she knows how to do that. And then I got my brother this little charger thing I saw at Marshall, TJ Maxx. Um, so I got him a Nintendo Switch for Christmas because he um, accidentally put his in the microwave and cooked it. <laughs> so I got him another one for Christmas and um, I found this. I was like, I'll just get it for him because I figured he could use it. It's a random gift. So yeah, so I'm about to head and get this food. Um, and then my parents' house, I'm gonna come home and eat it. All right, y'all, so I'm here, and this is the place. It's called Ike's Cafe and Grill. So yeah, my brother used to work here, and this is like one of the more popular um, African restaurants, so about to go in and get my food. All right, so I'm back at home, and I have my food, um, and we are about to try this. So um, um, this right here is the, What's the name of it again? Um, crickets. Oh my gosh, why did I forget the name? Let me look it up real quick because I completely forgot. I don't know how I forgot that fast. Um, the Ifo, Ifu Riro. I'm probably saying this wrong. I'm about to go on Google and see Ifo Riro. I need a. I need Google to tell me how to say this. Cause I don't wanna mess it up. I don't like messing like people's names up or you know, different culture stuff up. So um, it is pronounced. E F O Rero. Okay, they definitely don't know. E, <laughs> they said E F, okay, whatever. So um, it's E F O R I R O. So I got this with some goat meat in it. Let me get like up close so y'all can like see how delicious this looks. It is very, it's not focusing, there we go. It's very, very um, messy looking. So, um, I come up here because I didn't want to drop it or spill it anywhere. And then I have pounded yam. Can somebody please tell me the difference between pounded yam and fufu because they look the same to me, but I think they're different. So, I am going to go inside here. And I did wash my hands. So this is my first time trying this, you guys. Before I had, this is sticky, it was like. Um, I had pounded yam before. Um, last week I had Eddie Kai Kong and it was good, so I'm just going to put it on. I feel like I need to mix it up, okay. I hope it's not too spicy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's spicy. It's good though, it's good. It is spicy though. Mm. 
it's good i'm so hungry it's my first time eating today and it is 2 30 so mm, it's good it's like you can't really like y'all see how much it's stained my nails are gonna get stained um i feel like i need some salt though and and i'm about to drink some red rock it's probably gonna make the spicy level even worse but y'all know about red rock it's made in Atlanta. This is the best ginger ale ever. My mom put me on it. She used to drink this years and years and years ago before it became popular. But um, it's very gingery. So if you love ginger and stuff, you're gonna love this. Um, it's really good. And I like it because it has pure cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. A lot of the other like popular brands like Canada Dry, um, sweets, um, like Kroger, Walmart, Target, Publix, whatever brand, they have high fructose corn syrup and this one doesn't. But you cannot drink it fast at all. Um, so yeah. So this is my little, um, Friday cheat meal because my boyfriend and I were supposed to be, y'all, I have a salt problem. Um, my boyfriend and I were supposed to be making like some Nigerian just dish tomorrow, but we're going to make something else. So I just went ahead and got this today and y'all, I don't really, I like salt, but <laughs> my boyfriend thinks I use a lot of salt, but I don't eat processed foods. So it's like whatever salt I do put on my foods, it's based, it's mainly like just you know the salt that I put not like additive salt and then I add more salt I don't do that so I don't eat processed foods really so it's just that so this is so good you guys but I do like I do like the I think my favorite is the Ede Kai Kan because <coughs> it got spicy um <coughs> Jesus <coughs> Y'all, it's a little spicy. Okay, if you like spicy foods, you will like it. I never get spicy stuff. Like the highest I can go to, to is like a medium. And this is like a, like a medium plus one. It's not high, it's like medium with a pinch of plus one of whatever this plus one is on a scale. Um, so you have like mild, which is zero, and hot, which is 10. Medium's five. It's probably like uh, six or seven. So that's why I'm struggling over here because I always get my stuff mild. But my favorite one so far is the Eddie Tai Kong. But it wasn't spicy. And it was really good. I like cassava leaf when it's not spicy. Oh yeah. I'm giving this to it now. I'm just good. I'm just so hungry. So I think me adding the salt kind of helped with the spiciness. So I have a, a goat, piece of goat here, piece of goat here. But they gave me a lot of goat this time. Cause last time they were playing. So yeah, and y'all let me tell you how fat I am. Um, so I've been eating clean all week, right? <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> well, I'm glad nobody's eating this with me. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Y'all, that's why I don't do extra spicy stuff. Okay, let me tell y'all how fat I am. Or how greedy, hungry, whatever you wanna call it I am. I um, also got some oxtail. <laughs> so, y'all I love oxtail and I was just, like I was really craving like this food and I wanted like some oxtail. So I just went to the place and got a side of just oxtail meat. Oh yeah, today is my like I said, it's like my cheat day. 
because I've been eating clean all week. Been eating spare asparagus, cod, like no carbs, um, ground turkey, like stuff like that. So I treat myself on Friday, so this is it. So this place I got my oxtail from is called A Taste of Paradise. I didn't put it in the video, but it's in, um, it's on Lawrenceville Highway if y'all live in Atlanta. It's like North Atlanta and Gwinnett. So this is where I always go to get my oxtail. It's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, oxtail is my number one favorite food. Then after that, it's seafood. I'm just a crab. Sushi. I mainly like foods that are not American foods. I don't really like American foods like that. Although, Caribbean foods, African food, and Asian foods. That's basically all I eat. I love those three. Hmm. Mm. You know, I'm in heaven right now. And at 5.30, I gotta go to the gym. <laughs> so, that's why I don't really feel bad about eating this right now because I'm about to go do this intense workout class. It's called Fast Twitch. If y'all live in Atlanta, it's um, at Linux Mall. Underneath Linux Mall, they have a gym called The Forum. And um, they have this class there called Fast Twitch Upper Body, Lower Body, and Total Body. And it's literally, I oh, have oxytocin stuck in my teeth. It's literally an hour class. Some of them are an hour and a half, but today it's an hour long and you're on each exercise for a minute. And you don't rest. There's a timer that goes and it'll say count down to a minute from a minute. And then you go to the next exercise a minute and go to the next exercise a minute. You do not rest at all. You do 30 different exercises for a minute. Is it 30 or is it, is it 30? Or is it 60? I forgot if it's 30 exercises or 60 exercises. I forgot. But anyway, it's more than 30. I know that. So I haven't been since like COVID because it used to be packed. It used to be so many people in there. And I was scared to go back. So hopefully it's not packed today. Um, I'll wear my mask if it is, which is going to be a struggle because I don't like working out in my mask. I can't breathe, but I want to try to put the pounded yam with the oxtail sauce. Is that weird? Mm, that doesn't really taste that good. All right, this is my last oxtail. I'm going back to this. So yeah, so I just want to show y'all. I want this piece. Mm. I just wanted to show y'all the food that I got. I'm so good. I'm about to take this out and put it in a smaller bowl so I can eat it like that. So I'm not gonna eat all this right now. I'm gonna bone stuck in my tooth. I'm gonna um I'm not gonna eat all this right now because I gotta work out. I'll be eating when I get back home though, I know that. Yes. So I will see y'all in a little bit. Please let me know um, what your favorite like dishes are. Or, oh, let me know what um, like African dishes I should try. So this is my third week trying a new African dish. So I'm trying to like try something new like every week or every other week. So, so far I had cassava leaf, Eddie Kai Kong, and um, this. I keep forgetting the name of it, F-O Riro. And I had Suya before, and I think that's it. So let me know what else I should try. All right, so I'm gonna finish eating this, take a little nap, and then go work out.